What's up guys, Aiden here, Aiden's Lawn Landscape, and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, it's gonna be a little bit of everything. I gotta enjoy the mow. Got the perfect fitting t-shirt for that. Um, gonna give you an update on the lawn in a few minutes. I got uh, mulch estimates. Got the stuff over there for mulch estimates. I'm gonna go run a couple of those for customers and stuff. And what else am I gonna get into? Oh, I screwed up pretty bad last week on last week's math for the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo the math for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick the lawn update. Look at this. We're maintaining dominance. Bruh. Do you belong in there? I don't think so. Yay. Anyway, got all this here. I'm going to go ahead and help the neighbor out. Her grass has grown pretty long. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, guys, catch you there. Okay, so the cut's going to be at two and three quarter inches. I haven't started my lawnmower in about three to four weeks. So let's go ahead and see how quickly we can start this thing up. I don't know, man. It's, it's been a while, and especially since there's no primer on this thing. Who knows? Let's go ahead and give her a run. So I just wanted to let everybody know before I start cutting the grass that I'm going to cut the grass a little bit lower today, maybe anywhere between two and a half and three inches because I want to cut off some of the dead stuff. So hopefully we can get some nice um, no striping kit stripe actions. Let's see what we can do here. So I'm starting my mulch estimates to kind of figure out how I'm going to be pricing out mulch for this season with my customers. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you do the mulch. So this is a real simple bed I have right here. What you do is you get a pen and a paper and a clipboard, and then you get one of these things, a measuring wheel. And you start here, it started at zero. This bed's easy because it's square, but you walk it right along the edge. Okay, so this one is nine foot long. See so right down nine, nine foot. And then you find out how wide it is. So, this one is, okay, so that spot right there is three foot. You want to go to your widest point, which is right here for me. We'll call that four foot. And then you're going to multiply those two together. Nine foot by four foot. And then how deep you want the mulch. So I usually go about two and a half inches. So then I'll write down on the book. 2.5 and then you multiply 9 times 4 times 2.5 and it'll give you a number which I don't do the math I have a mat, uh, mulch calculator and it'll tell you how much uh, mulch you need so that's what I'll go ahead and use so I'm going to go ahead and total it up and I will let you know okay so I'm on my way over to my other customer who I'm just doing the back he did his front already it's pretty big mulch space so I will show you it when I get there. This will be the first time I'm servicing mulch at this property. I did grass all season last year and an aeration. So I will show this property the first time on YouTube and show you how much mulch it's gonna be. Okay guys, to first quick look at this property. I mean, paired to how we fertilized last year, holy smokes, it's green back here. But I mean, the customer went ahead and already mulched this. So I'm not sure if he'll want remulch back in uh, um, later this season. So I'm going to go ahead and text him real quick, estimate this, and see what he wants to do with this property. I must have put a lot of fertilizer down on that lawn because holy smokes, it is green. I haven't been back here to check the lawns and see if they're ready for cutting. But I guess I got to come back and cut that one soon because it is growing pretty long. But that one was a pretty big mulch job. So... Probably one of the bigger ones in our neighborhood. So I don't know if I'll get that one since he already did it, but I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys, I'm just rolling up on the second property, actually third property I'm estimating. And it's about the rain, so I'm trying to beat the rain so I can get inside and start editing. Um, go ahead and show you guys up on this one. It's a pretty big mulch job. I earned a pretty good contract with this one. And uh, go ahead and show it to you guys real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and estimate it real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so here's this property. I just estimated that mulch here. And then this mulch going all the way around the side. So that one will be a pretty decent sized one. I got two more to estimate. I probably won't film on the next two, but if I get around to it, I will show you guys these properties. Shoot. Okay, so here's the math mistake. The bag weighs 13.535 pounds, which covers 5,000 square feet. So 13.35 divided by 5 is 2.67. So 2.67 times 0 0.30 nitrogen is 0.8 pounds of nitrogen. I have no clue what I got last week. I don't even remember. So I just wanted to show you that I did comment that last week in case you guys wanted to go check that out. Video with that, I'm Aiden from Azalone Landscaping. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.